Perhaps you've heard that auras are unscientific and that their existence remains unproven. But today, you'll get to see your own aura with your own eyes, without needing to rely on any external technology or tools. You'll even find out what your aura means and how to actually take advantage of this knowledge. So let's get started. Seeing your aura is quite easy. To conduct these experiments, you'll need the following things. 1. One of your hands. And 2. A white wall. That's it. If you don't have hands, don't worry. In this case, you'll need just a mirror. Now, go to the white wall at a time of the day when it is lit by natural light but not directly. If you don't have a white wall nearby, you can use a white sleeping sheet. Your background shouldn't be in direct sunlight or in complete shadow. Extend your arm and place your hand firmly on the background. Now, spread the distance between your middle and index fingers and focus right there. Focus your eyes in the center between these two fingers. Now, drive your eyes slightly out of focus, as if you're trying to see your nose with both your eyes, but do this just slightly. It shouldn't blur your vision completely or cause your eyes to hurt or feel uncomfortable. This works for 100% of the people if you do it right. If you don't succeed after the first try, rest your eyes and come back tomorrow and try without forcing your vision to blur too much. When you start seeing a blurred line coming out of your fingers, don't freak out just yet. This line will transition to become a colorful field all around your hand and then expand up to your entire body. Congratulations, you're now seeing your aura. In the mirror scenario, do the same thing in front of a mirror and look slightly over your head. This is more difficult, and that's why I recommended the hand method instead. In Hinduism, the concept of aura is closely related to the subtle body, spiritual energy and chakras. It is called the pranayama kosha, and it is depicted as the energy sheet surrounding the physical body. Hindu sages can sometimes predict a person's success, or even death, based on their aura. So seeing yours can actually be quite important. And I believe every person should see their own aura at one point in their life. Every living being's heart creates an electromagnetic field that is conducted and felt through every single cell of your body. And even up to 5 feet away from your body, your heart's electromagnetic field influences the surrounding, be it in other living beings or atoms of the objects around us. Although electromagnetic fields are invisible to the human eye, they can be made visible. At first, I was a skeptic like you. Especially after learning about aura photography and the massive scam that it is. But today, I'll even show you what my own aura looks like and tell you a few stories of how you can see the auras of others based on my experience. In Hindu beliefs, the aura is associated with different colors and each color represents specific qualities or attributes. These colors are thought to reflect the state of pranayama kosha or the subtle energy field. Additionally, these colors are often associated with the chakras, which are the energy centers of the body. I've seen the auras of others through different methods in my life. The simplest is to simply put the person in front of a white wall in the same conditions we described and focus your eyes slightly above their head. This is how I've seen my mother's aura when I was growing up. I loved experimenting with such phenomena. While in university, I could on occasion see auras while under the influence of edibles, which are legal where I went to study. Once, I saw the auras of two of my friends, and one of them had a bright red and the other was grey and filthy. The person with the grey aura got really sick within two days, and weeks later, I saw his real aura again, which was yellow. It cleansed after the disease passed, but the strongest aura I've seen without actually forcing it by edibles or a certain technique was my martial arts sensei's aura. I could see his aura often during training sessions at the dojo. While he gave lectures, the students sat in seiza observing and listening motionless in between practices. One time I decided to tell him and he confirmed the exact same color of his aura that I was seeing. It was deep ocean blue, the aura of a teacher. And this was the moment when I realized this is 100% real and my aura's color is pretty similar to his, it is light blue and very intense, meaning I'm in good physical and spiritual health. The more uniform your aura color is, the stronger your energy is connected to the corresponding chakra, 
And you can learn how to feel these chakras inside you one by one in the next video I will suggest. Now that you've seen your aura, let's quickly go through what your aura color means. But it's important to understand that the intensity and shade of the color is more important than the color itself, and this is a very common misconception. After we go through the colors, I will explain that in more detail. And then I will show you what my aura actually looks like. Red is associated with energy, vitality, passion and strength. It symbolizes the physical body courage and groundness. A bright red aura is a sign of someone with a healthy ego, an outlook on life. If you have a red aura, you're a leader, but you can be over aggressive sometimes and oppress others. Orange. Orange represents creativity, enthusiasm, joy and emotional balance. It is linked to the expression of emotions and sensuality. People with orange auras are always surrounded by friends. Orange auras are artists, like singers, or creative entrepreneurs, or content creators. The yellow aura is associated with intellect, confidence, mental clarity and willpower. It also represents the power of the mind and self-esteem. People with yellow auras are not conformists and will always hold their own ground. These are good entrepreneurs. Green symbolizes growth, healing, balance and compassion. It's associated with the heart and emotional well-being. A green aura in people means they're more lucky than others and financially successful. This is the aura of doctors, sometimes teachers, or people who generally help others and care deeply for them. The blue aura represents calmness, communication, truth, spiritual expansion. It's linked to expressing one's inner truth. These people are very difficult to silence. Blue is the color of teachers, spiritual leaders, and mindfulness. Patient and calm, and resilient in any situation. Indigo or purple is associated with intuition, perception, spiritual awareness, and higher consciousness. Often people with supernatural abilities like clairvoyance have a purple one. Violet symbolizes spirituality, transformation, divine connection, or even enlightenment, because it is directly linked to the crown chakra. The intensity and shade of your aura is much more important than the color itself. If you have a black, gray or hazy, muddy aura, then it means you're either unwell or close to danger or cursed. But a white aura can also correspond to the crown chakra and it corresponds to it when it's actually open, and this is extremely rare. A white aura is most commonly observed in either children or old wise ages. If you have a white aura, you're quite lucky. At the other side of the spectrum we have grey or black auras. They are natural and indicate something weird is going on. Otherwise, let's say if your aura is weak, it means your energetic pathways are either blocked or you're too stressed or anxious. All of this can be fixed through energy work, meditation, physical activities, getting rid of addictions, nurturing health and love of course. I hope when you see your auras during this exercise, you will leave your colors in the comments below. And if you see something you think might not be okay, for example grim or dark, let me know and we'll figure out a way how to fix it. For those of you interested, here's what my aura looks like, and this is the realest representation of something you should see when doing this experiment, just in a slightly different color, or a completely different color, it depends on what your aura type is. Make sure you join our Discord, where people help each other and share resources on spiritual topics and interesting unorthodox yet true opinions. I usually read through a ton of research, varying from academic papers to books and ancient texts while creating every single video. For this video, I somewhat used information from a book called A Little Bit of Auras. However, the majority of the video was based on Hindu beliefs that I've learned from Hindu literature. I'm Dang Suisoko and I thank you for watching Into the Unknown. If you liked this video, make sure you watch my other one on Pranayama Meditation, which is one of the few ways to enhance your aura and spiritual being, and increase your lifespan by dozens of years. So, see you there.